Hey guys, I'm Sagar Zado from TechWorks and this is my review of the Logitech MX Master. Up till now, I have only used the trackpad on the MacBook for all my work and even to edit all my videos. I had a MacBook Air when I first got into making videos and I really got used to its trackpad and never felt the need to upgrade to a mouse. But ever since I got the Dell monitor and hooked it up to my MacBook Pro, it was getting more and more difficult to use the trackpad and keyboard built into the MacBook. It was finally time for me to invest in a good keyboard and a mouse. I love to keep my setup as clean as possible, so I wanted to go with wireless mouse and keyboard. I went ahead with the latest Apple Magic Keyboard and the Logitech MX Master wireless mouse, which seems like a popular choice amongst most of the tech YouTubers. In this video, we will take a look at the Logitech MX Master and in the next one, I will cover the Apple's Magic Keyboard. I considered getting the Logitech Performance Mouse MX, but I didn't want the Logitech's unified receiver dongle to permanently use up one of the USB ports on my MacBook Pro. So I went ahead with the MX Master, which has dual connectivity options. More on that in a bit. Inside the box, you get the micro USB cable for charging this mouse, the Logitech Unified Receiver Dongle, which can work with up to 6 devices at a time, and the MX Master itself. This mouse comes in black color with bronze accents and has a matte and rubberized finish to it. The thumb grip has a diamond-like texture which looks and feels amazing. At the front, you have a micro USB port to charge this mouse. It has regular right and left click buttons, a scroll wheel in between and the mode shift button above that. This is an adaptive scroll wheel which means it adjusts according to your scrolling speed. You can move it normally to scroll up or down or while going through large documents or excel sheets, you can put it in free spinning mode. This feature is very helpful but you can easily turn it off if you don't like it. On the left side, you have 3 LED battery indicator, another scroll wheel for horizontal scrolling, back and forward buttons and another button which is hidden under the thumb rest. At the bottom, you will find a on off slider switch, a connect button, Logitech's dark field sensor which works even on a glass surface and a selector button which lets you switch between three devices. As I said before, this mouse has dual connectivity options where you can either connect it to any computer using the included dongle or you can connect it via Bluetooth. I like the Bluetooth pairing option as it allows you to pair it with three different devices at the same time and switch between them with just a press of a button. Logitech Options software allows you to customize your MX Master. So downloading this software is the first thing that you should do after getting this mouse. This software is very easy to use and allows you to customize every single button on the mouse according to your liking. You can adjust everything from the pointer speed to scroll speed and even the DPI of this mouse from this software. I have not used a mouse in a very long time, but thanks to its ergonomic design, my hand sits very comfortably on it. It weighs in at 145 grams. For some people, it might be a bit heavy, but again, since I haven't used a mouse in a long time, I don't have any set weight in my mind to compare it with, so I quickly got used to it. The horizontal scroll wheel comes in very handy when I am editing videos in Final Cut Pro X. The other three buttons on the left are also very useful, especially because you can program them to do anything from within the Logitech Option software. Maybe it's because of my hand or the way I grip this mouse, but I find the horizontal scroll wheel and the two other buttons alongside it to be a bit too far towards the back from where my thumb usually rests. So I have to adjust my grip accordingly to use those buttons. Other than that, it's a very good productivity mouse and I am really happy with it. It's not going to be any hardcore gamer's favorite mouse, but for my needs, it's perfect. You get a non-removable battery inside this mouse. It charges fairly quickly via the micro USB port and Logitech claims it to last for 40 days on a single charge. They might be right about the battery as I haven't charged this in the last 28 days. When the battery actually gets low, you can plug it in and still continue to use it. It's wireless, works on almost any surface and has a long lasting battery which makes it perfect even if you travel a lot and carry all your stuff with you. I have been using this mouse for editing my videos since last few weeks and it helps me speed up the process as I have programmed my most used shortcuts in this mouse. All these features come at a hefty price. Right now, it's available at around 9,500 rupees. I myself picked it up from Amazon when it was available at a discounted price. I think it's a great addition to my setup and it actually speeds up my workflow especially while editing videos. So what are your thoughts about the MX Master? Have you tried using it or are you planning to get it? Let me know in the comment section. That is it for this video guys. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and also subscribe to my channel for more cool videos like this. You can also check out some of the other videos on this channel. This is Sagar 
and i'll catch you guys in the next video take care